Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another tiny tutorial and in this video I want to show you how you can make really really simple waves like this here. They are a mix out of realistic and stylized art but uh, yeah it can look really good when you have something uh, which comes out of the water or something like that. So I will just jump into the workflow. So I will have this um, prototype here and I will just do something here on the other side so you know what I'm doing. So you really don't need a lot. The first thing you have to do is just building up some of the forms so you actually have to think about which form you really want in the end and let's say we want to have like a wave which is going like this and then we have maybe another wave going in front of it and I recommend doing this with Dynamesh because then you can just easily um, recreate the shape and make it more clean and you can build it up again and again. So let me do some shapes here. One thing you can also do when you want some curly shapes in it, you can use the... where is it? The spiral brush. Uh, you can easily use this for work just to get a little bit of swing into it some flow maybe something like this and you can go back to your clay build up just form it a little bit more something like this make sure it is bended on this way yeah, I think that's that looks pretty good. So now what you have to do is just going in and build up your white caps here on the top of the of the waves. And they're going along to the sides. Just do that with circles. And I know you can't really see anything right now because it's pretty, pretty low dense. You will see it will look good in the end. So just make little circles and make some white caps here on the top. When you're using Dynamesh, then you have to go up a little bit more to get more resolution. So you can see it better. I also recommend having the alpha on the clay builder brush so you can see all these lines here in between. It gives it more texture. And you do that all along here. So when you have this, then you only need to build up all the layers. If you want more of detail then you can go smaller with the brush so you get more of these little circles here. You can dynamash all the time so you don't lose any volume. And then you can go up as well or you can subdivide. This is one thing you can also do just to get more details into it and it is all just building up some layers on top of each other to get more and more little details the smaller the brush the more details you get in the crowns here something like this now you can go with the clay builder brush and make a few of these big holes in it 
to give it some texture so you can see that everything is not just one piece so you have some larger and some smaller segments in the water and now what you can do is using the um, clay build up or the standard brush and change the alpha to the default alpha 58 brush which ZBrush always have and then you can just go in and make these lines here remember you can always go in the direction of the water so when the wave is going on the left side you can also go with the stroke on the left side here and when it goes on the right side you can go and move the brush on the right side and then you can just smooth it out a little bit and you already can see a little bit of structure here and I recommend doing um, a little bit less intensity of the smooth brush so just click the smooth brush and then the space bar on the keyboard and go down with the intensity and then you can go back to the brush with the alpha on it and you can go high with the intensity there and just make big strokes here and then smooth it out again so you get these bigger curves on it and you slowly can see that you get these little segments here so you have a bigger one here smaller one a bigger one a small one here so this is a pretty good base to sculpt on and you can also do that here on this side smooth it out again Can see it slowly builds up then you can go with the normal clay, to, clay up build and then go along here and rebuild these little segments a little bit just where you want it to be you can make also holes again but you have a better idea of where the whole parts are going you can just overpaint it a little bit and now you only have to do um, just subdividing this and doing the same things over and over again so using the clay builder brush making these circles around the whole mesh something like this and just subdivide it and follow along you can also use some damp standard brush to make these segments standing more out something like that just following along the flow of the water never forget that you can also use the high polish brush to just make it a little bit more clean You also can smooth it out 
and going more into details. Building up, going again, one more subdivision, doing the whole process again. You can also go back and use the spiral brush. If you want it a little bit more swirly. And then you can go back and fix this or make it more detailed. And if you want to, you can of course use some other alphas so you get other textures here in the uh, white crowns or you can make it more stylized and more blocky or even more realistic. But overall, this is how you can make some pretty nice waves. If you take your time with it, then this can look really, really nice. But uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you liked it and uh, we see us in the next video.